Hello, I'm John Harrigan, the founder of the website immortalnow.com and the host of the podcast Immortal Now. I'm here today to share with you my near death experience where I found myself in heaven sitting next to God on his left side in this miraculous, perfect, fully unending, compassionate place. My story is really interesting to me, and I hope to you. When I was born about the age of seven, I had a really strong mission, a really strong sense of mission to know the secret to life, and that turned out to be the secret to immortality. And on that journey, on that journey that began at the age of seven, and at the age of seven, before I tell you about the NDE, at the age of seven, I was sitting in front of a mirror and looking at myself, and I could see about 1,600 previous lifetimes that I had lived. And they weren't really in the past, they were all happening right now in a strange way. And as I looked at all those lifetimes and really experienced all of them at the same time, I realized that I missed one big important thing to life and answer the questions, why are we really here? What is the secret to life? And what is our full potential? So I seem to have been born with that. I became very aware of it about the age of six or seven. And that led into a lifelong existence as a seeker, a spiritual seeker wanting to discover the reasons why and our full potential. This led into my teen years. I learned how to meditate at the age of 12, and I read a lot of interesting, helpful books. But I started to hear about professors from Harvard talking about the possibilities with LSD and how you could have a spiritual experience with LSD. So I, I wanted that. A totally terribly naive child, the age of 15, I thought, I'm going to try LSD and want to have one of these great spiritual experiences. That didn't really happen. What happened to me was a very bad LSD experience. I later found out that LSD had way too much strychnine and methamphetamine. If it was even LSD, who knows who made it or where. But I had this horribly painful experience, LSD trip, I'm speeding at the same time and I'm dying <laughs> of strychnine poisoning. I didn't die, hint, spoiler, I, di I didn't die because I'm here with you. And that LSD experience, in a way, it was really the strychnine, a year later led me to my NDE. And I was in agony after that LSD experience. And the LSD went away, but my nervous system was very damaged. I was in pain. I was afraid. This went on for about a year, and I was so desperate and in such pain, I really was beyond my human limit, and I wasn't able to live any farther. So at the age, a year later, at the age of 16 in bed one night, and desperate at the end of my rope, I had suffered more than... I really should have, I said a prayer and it was this, these exact words, God do something or I'm cashing in my chips. And I wouldn't recommend this prayer to anyone else, but it's just a prayer that took me to the deepest core of me, far deeper than I ever thought possible. That pain, agony, and fear of a year took me to a place where as I said that prayer, as I was at the end of my life, as I saw it, I was immediately next to what I call God, immediately next to God, sitting on God's left side. It was really a, a completely empty or completely full space. I'm kind of thinking of Eastern religions and Eastern philosophies where they talk about emptiness and fullness. So, this really was what I would describe a perfect place of heaven with unlimited compassion, unlimited love and knowing. And as I sat there with God, I mean, God was just what you would think about um, if you have a, a warm idea of God, of God as a compassionate, all-knowing, 
loving, infinite good. The interesting thing is as I sat next to God, and I would say a child of God, I was exactly like God, the same being as God was, but I was a pipsqueak. I, I was a really young child of God, and my personal idea is that we're all children of God, and we're all here with the same opportunity and as the same person in many ways. But as I sat in heaven with God, it was just there was no time and there was no space. You could say the time was infinite. Yet I was young and God wasn't young. And I would say that in a way, time there was determined by the fullness of your being. You know, not necessarily how long you had lived. I had a sense that though I'm here on earth now, and so are you, that um, maybe there are many other possibilities. Um, if you look at physics and the many worlds theory and it it seems very possible today that there are an infinite number of universes and everything that can happen will happen not to mess up your mind but it kind of seemed that way when i was there though all i saw was i would describe it as a pure white light and i would say that this was god's intent for me god didn't want to take me through you know, different variations of heaven, different levels of heaven, different manifestations that other people talk about in their NDEs. I thought it was a very purposeful NDE for my life and for my life purpose, where God showed me nothing but my soul and where God showed nothing but his soul and the fullness of this unlimited heaven. And that's really an important word, unlimited heaven. And I sat there, and I could have been sitting there for decades and eons, because there is no time. But I never left my body. I was in bed this whole time. And after this luxurious stay in heaven next to God as God, I started to resolve back into my body. And by resolve, I never left my body. I just started to focus upon my body a little bit. And that heaven, very slowly, that NDE heaven experience with God, slowly that NDE experience transformed into a heaven on earth experience. As I focused back into this world, I brought that God consciousness and that reality of heaven with me. I mean, I didn't bring it, not my egoistic self. It's just that's what the experience did as I was with it. So as I came and focused back into my bedroom, I started to experience my body slowly as this perfect God-conscious body, this perfect heavenly body. And it was a miraculous, incredible, enthusiastic, wonderful experience. And as I'm sharing it, I'm having that experience now. I'm there as as I'm speaking to you, but also on earth. I never left my body, explaining that again. So as I came in, I, I just had all the presence of heaven, all this God consciousness, God energy in my physical body. And back sort of in my bed, I started to think of people in my life who were having problems. One of them was my older sister. I'd been through some very difficult challenges. The same instant that I thought of her, all this unlimited love, God love and compassion from heaven came through my physical body to my sister. And every earth problem I thought of, this unlimited God consciousness came through me. It wasn't me, really. It's kind of hard to explain that reality. And I think the best way to explain it, if you haven't had this experience, is when when you really, really fall in love with someone and have that relationship and continue that relationship, It's not uncommon that we feel this oneness with that person 
that we're in love with. I'm kind of crying, not quite crying, but this is a little bit good grief. I still process this experience. And um, talking about how human love, where you can experience this, the problem with human love is we have all our flaws and all our desires and judgments in a relationship. Can we get out of the way? And I would, from my experiences, yeah, in a human relationship, we absolutely can get out of the way. But that's another website. And <laughs> that's another talk. I came into my body, into awareness of my body with the fullness of heaven, the fullness of God's consciousness and ability in me. And as I thought of the, I immediately started thinking of the problems in my life and the problems on earth. This beautiful, perfect, heavenly God consciousness came through me, all my cells, all my being, into this world. And as that happened, this world and heaven were the same world. And that's really my life mission and in my talk ahead, perhaps. But as I experienced all this perfect love from heaven, all this perfect God consciousness, God presence in me and flowing to this world, I had the thought as this was happening, for me, a very nice um, Episcopal church that was very kind and compassionate and with unity literature. I was comfortable with that. I liked all of that. So as this near-death experience was focusing itself onto Earth, I thought, oh, I wasn't figuring anything out at all. Just the thought came to my mind, oh, this is what Jesus was talking about. I mean, the Jesus in my life of infinite good, compassion, forgiveness, on earth, giving us eternal life on earth. If we wanted that, I thought this is what Jesus is talking about. And this is what Jesus was asking us to become. Also, in my adult life, I would say I think this is what every world religion is talking about. I think this is what every spiritual master is talking about. It's just getting to that awareness of all-encompassing perfect love and goodness as who we physically are on earth. I sense that I've read a lot of yogi masters and I feel that yoga is really intended to take us there. Yoga is intended to take us mentally, emotionally, and physically to nirvana, this perfect place of love and goodness where we can live it as our life on earth. And that was the NDE. As the ND was happening, I went, oh, this is my lifelong mission on earth. And as I focus more and more in the here and now on the physical place that I was in bed, my body, and mind you, my nervous system had been really damaged badly by that strychnine and LSD. It, I was in agony every day and terrified. And as I came out of this experience, this NDE, I noticed with awe that my that physical damage had been healed about one third. And as I became aware of that, that my body had been healed about one third, I went, okay, I get it. It was kind of like my lifelong mission, my purpose for being born, purpose for being born is to have this terrible experience. I'm healed one third at the age of 16. I realized the rest of my life was to put my body together again. I'm thinking of Humpty Dumpty <laughs> who fell off the wall into all these pieces. I realized that, okay, John, you've had this wonderful one third miracle. Now it's up to you in your spiritual practice. It's up to you in this presence of God and you in the world in heaven. It's up to you, John to work on this successively until you become well enough to teach this in the world. And I knew this realization, you all know how it goes when you have a special realization. It all happened instantly. But part of this realization was that, John, it's going to take you maybe 30 or 40 years to get out of this pain enough where you have the perspective and the clarity 
to teach this in the world, how people can have a body of bliss, a body of happiness, a body of peace, and live immortal in a physical creation. Much, I think, as Jesus was saying, was available to us and others. So there we were. Um, I'm back on earth. I'm talking about Jesus. And my story is the near-death experience came with me, and it never ended. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the specific ND experience in my time in heaven. I was lying in bed. I said this prayer, God help me. I was in such a a painful situation. God help me or I'm cashing in my chips. Don't say that prayer. I don't recommend it, but it worked for me. The instant I said that prayer, I was sitting next to God in what I call heaven. And it was interesting to me because there are a lot of other NDE experiences on YouTube that I've read about, that I've seen on YouTube. And there's an entire process, a beautiful, fascinating process that uh, often includes a tunnel of light, meeting relatives and others. My near-death experience, I simply found myself sitting next to what I call God. God was a real individual. I don't know if I ever thought about, but in my NDE in heaven, God was a real individual with a real individual consciousness. But this God of my experience included all of heaven, everything beyond heaven, everything that ever was or will be. This God was included, and I could see that. But I think in my specific NDE, God and perhaps I wanted it to be a specific type of NDE, and there was nothing there but this sort of like white potentiality of goodness, infinite love, infinite goodness, infinite compassion, infinite knowing. Yet, it's not all knowing in the human sense because we alive on earth, I was seeing this in in heaven, that we alive on earth, we are discovering new thoughts. We are knowing new things. But I would say that in heaven, I saw that as we all do that, discover new thoughts, develop into a new person, it was all somehow part of God in a way that can't be explained in words on earth, in a way that can't be explained in time and space, because in that beautiful, lovely, warm, calm, relaxing, heavenly place, there was nothing there but me and God. Everything was there, but at the same time, nothing was there but me and God. And I thought about some ideas in Eastern philosophy and religion, emptiness and fullness, There was no time or space. That place of heaven, that specific consciousness, was much more immediate and present than life on earth. I would say life on earth, as I see it today, because of time and because of space, we're all kind of living in a fog, though it may not seem that way, but the immediacy and the presence of heaven was incredible, this God consciousness. And the, the most beautiful thing is that heavenly experience never ended for me. When I got back to uh, earth, as I've explained, when I resolved back into my body, this heaven and God consciousness came with me. I found that when I came back to earth in consciousness, though I never left my body, when I resolved my consciousness back into my body, as I've shared, I was healed about one-third, and I realized that my life mission was really to heal myself, to work through the other two-thirds with the help of God in this heavenly consciousness. And when I was largely through that in 30 or 40 years to teach it, which I do today on my website, teach that. But I teach it with, I would say, the presence of heaven, the presence of God, What's marvelous to me about my experience of heaven is that it all came with me, and it came to everything I thought about, 
as I was focusing back into the world, what I began immediately, immediately is sitting in meditation at least once a day. What I remember is immediately, you know, as I had this full, full on experience of God, what is God in heaven to me, I would bring all of that into my body through meditation. And mind you, I had a long way to go when I was 16 to heal my body because every daily healing experience, when I brought heaven back to my consciousness, God, full God consciousness back to my own, back to my body, and back to earth, I was in heaven again. But I was in my body and I was on earth. And that heavenly experience transformed my body a little bit every day. And I would say at the age I am now, I'm, it is four decades after that experience, the experience of needing to heal myself over the course of 40 years, that was the teacher for me. That was the motivation and the teacher for me. I still had two-thirds of that pain in my body. I wanted relief. I still had two-thirds of that uh, really heightened anxiety, and I needed relief all that. So I just started to sit in meditation every day, and I would go back to heaven. Literally, I would go back to God consciousness, and I'm doing it now as I'm talking to you. And I would feel that God consciousness in my body, in every cell and every place of me. And I would feel that God consciousness in the physical room that I was in. So I would do this again and again every day. And eventually, as I got practiced throughout the day to experience heaven in my body, in my physical place on earth. And what I came to understand is for me that we are living in this heaven where God dwells, sort of like the proverbial Garden of Eden, that we're here. We are eternal beings living in this confinement that we've been born into. And the deal here, the incredible opportunity for everyone is to have this physical experience, whatever it may be. And I simply have had enough of these physical experiences, remember, about 1600. I had enough of them where I just got to the point where I said, enough. I think everything that can be learned by a life experience, and I just don't have that essential critical thing. The essential critical thing is what my near-death experience gave me. And what that experience gave me and what I'm talking to you from is heaven on earth, that God consciousness in my mind, in my body, in the room where I'm recording it, in heaven now. And it's all, almost like as I see it, having this heavenly experience on earth, bringing this NDE consciousness, this NDE consciousness to the now, it's almost like we have created a type of holodeck inside heaven where we're born in and out of it in and out of it to have these lifetime experiences and in a lot of these lifetime experiences we forget who we are some of them people remember but most of mine i never quite remembered who i was as i did in this lifetime and i would call this lifetime for me i've had enough this is the i've had enough let's bring heaven to earth or let's become aware that we're in heaven while we're living through this hollow deck experience. I've also discovered over the years, over the decades, as I'm in this God consciousness, as, I, as I'm living in this heaven on earth, that I really have a heavenly being, a heavenly consciousness that is more than all my lifetimes, that is more than this lifetime. So as I'm physically here, in heaven now the name of my website is immortalnow.com where i teach all this and i simply teach what i'm experiencing how can you be in heaven now physically everybody's consciousness changes over the years that they live so why not change into your higher power or your god consciousness 
where you are conscious of all of creation with God as God. Doesn't make sense in the here and now. Doesn't make sense in human language. But why not get into that and why not age into that wonderful, beautiful love? And why not age into being that person of wonderful, beautiful love, compassion, and knowing? I don't think of dying now. I'm just living in that heavenly consciousness. And what happens, happens. It's not my business. If I start thinking about, I find immortal life on earth, like some of the DOS masters do, as soon as you have those questions, what's in it for me? Questions, you lose that God consciousness. It was just instantaneous, but the goodness is that perfect, loving, compassionate place of God I brought with me into this physical world, into my physical body and brain. And it's still here. I've been working with it and developing into it throughout the last decades. As a closing for you, right now, you who is watching me, you who are listening to me, what did I get out of this NDE and what can you get? What I got out of this NDE that took me to heaven, sitting next to God, is that this heaven came with me in my body through this experience to who I am now. This NDE healed me, this perfect love and goodness healed me and what my belief is, it, it can heal anyone. And this is what God's healing love, God's healing presence is. As time went on, as the decades went on, and I got closer and closer to the time where I thought I should teach this so everyone can live this heaven on earth experience, so all of us can kind of maybe turn around creation to a heavenly place that it was designed to be. Indeed, by changing ourselves a bit, by having better thoughts, by being mindful of whether we're hurting ourselves and other people and not doing that, but as important or more important is finding this God consciousness in you, whatever you may call it. You know, in 12-step programs, they call it the higher power of your understanding, God of your understanding. And I, I like that the best, really. This is what I've experienced is for everyone, how to change the physical world by living into the heavenly consciousness that I would suggest is our true eternal consciousness. So the word that came to me, what is all this and what do I, I teach? I teach immortal now, <laughs> that we are immortal now and we can, we can discover this through our bodies and through our problems and through our roadblocks on earth that seem impossible, none of them are as I've lived through these decades. You can have your heavenly consciousness with what I call God physically on this planet as the physical you, the immortal you. And I teach all of this at my website, immortalnow.com and where we have new things every day you can find our podcast it's the secret to immortality and on that website we have courses you can take and uh, weekly qigong lessons that's part of this package you can discover all that for yourself at the website immortalnow.com and i usually end all my podcasts bless you keep you you are immortal now